And we begin with that developing story out of Clinton this noon. Police there have been trying to locate 17-year-old Rebecca Arthur, who flew to Morocco earlier this week to see her boyfriend without her parents knowing about it. At this hour, we can report she has been found. News 8's Brian Spiros joins us live from News 8 Control this midday with the latest details. Brian. Well, hey, Keith, we just got back from the Clinton Police Department a short time ago. They confirmed Rebecca Arthur was found early this morning, Moroccan time. She was about 200 miles southwest of Casablanca with her boyfriend, Sima Aladala, and his family. Now, everyone wants to know how she managed to fly across the world without her parents even knowing about it. Here's what happened. According to police, Arthur told her parents she was flying to California to visit a friend. On Monday, they dropped her off at JFK Airport at the Delta Terminal. She then went to a different terminal and boarded a Royal Air Maroc flight to Casablanca. She had a note with her mother's permission to fly, which turns out was forged. Arthur called her mom 24 hours after she left. When the mother didn't hear from her after that, she got concerned, called her daughter's friend, and that's when she realized she wasn't in California, but rather on the other side of the world. Her parents then reported her missing. It appears that uh, the gentleman in Morocco also uh, misled his parents, and the two uh, youths perpetrated this uh, event uh, without their parents' consent or knowledge. But we are happy to report she is uh, safe. And uh, right now, efforts are being uh, they're underway to try to uh, bring her back to this country as soon as possible. This comes with a surprise to the majority of her family and friends. And uh, in conjunction with the state police, Homeland Security, FBI, the, everyone's worked great. And she's, we're glad to see she's all right. Now, again, the goal is to get Arthur home as soon as possible. Police tell us Arthur met Aladala a year ago on social media. They began dating several months ago. Her visit to Morocco was the first time they have ever met in person. We are reporting live this noon from News 8 Control. I'm Brian Spiros. Keith, back to you.